This week, the Vermilion County Health Department announced the first case of a new strain of COVID-19 had been identified in the county. Fox Illinois' Evan Hensley spoke with a health official about what this new strain means to area residents. And yesterday, the Vermilion County Health Department confirmed the first case of B117, a new strain of COVID that had popped up in the county. Administrator Doug Toole told me that his new strain has left many health officials with a lot of unanswered questions. It is not retreating on its own. Uh, it's continuing to spread. It's continuing to have a lot of impact on people's health. So a new strain that's more contagious is not what we need. The CDC website reports that there have been nine cases of the new strain of B117 in the state of Illinois. Vermilion County Administrator Doug Toole says they have had just their first case a more contagious version of an already very contagious mm -hmm. virus. Uh, we've not seen anything saying that the symptoms are any worse or that the treatment of is any different. So that's a good thing. It just seems easier to spread around. Tool says that contact tracing has not shown where that person got it, but they are at home quarantining for the time being. Has that linked to any other cases in the county yet uh, that you can tell? We've not found any yet. Uh, Got to give some credit to the lab techs that kept looking to find it. It's very easy to run a lab test on something and say, okay, well, it's positive for COVID-19 and stop there. This comes at a time where cases in the county remain high, with 208 over the course of Tuesday and Wednesday. A mutated strain that's mm -hmm. more contagious out there. So the measures we've been taking the last few months, we not only have to continue, we may have to be even more careful about. Tool urges at the community to not let their guard down especially with the vaccine still rolling out and not knowing how the vaccine will affect the new strain. hate to think that all the work that's been put into this vaccine and the rollout of it and trying to get into people's arms and we're going to have a new strain of it come out that it, this may not have that much effect on. And Tool says there has been no reason to believe that the vaccine would be ineffective against the new strain. The hope is that the strain doesn't spread across the community and lead to another challenge during the pandemic. Reporting in studio, I'm Evan Hensley. Back to you.